Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this super simple 29 gallon aquarium and stand using no polymer clay. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, or hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I hope you guys enjoy. If you'd like to see any additional aquarium videos, don't forget to check out videos that I made last year. Aquarium Part 1, Aquarium Part 2, and then a visual video. For this project, I started off using jumbo popsicle sticks. I cut the tips off and then I cut them into two and a half inch pieces. Then I glued them together into one group of three and two groups of two. Glue the two shorter pieces on top of the larger piece so that they form like a squared C shape. And then, using some skinny sticks, I cut those into three two and a half inch pieces and two two and a quarter inch pieces. Use two of the two and a half inch pieces to flank on either side of your C shape. And then on the inside, glue the two two and a quarter inch pieces, one at the top and one at the bottom. Use your last two and a half inch piece to glue right into the center. Three more steps and your cabinet will be done. Now you can glue together some coffee stir sticks, and these are the thinner ones. You want these glued together in the strips of five, and you want them to be about two inches long. Add some additional pieces from coffee stir sticks to fill in the blanks between the other sticks. And you can apply a little bit of wood putty if you'd like to fill in any gaps. Now glue on your doors. On the top, you can glue in two additional pieces of two and a quarter inch jumbo popsicle sticks, and then add in some additional skinny sticks to trim out the cabinet. And for the tank itself, I'm using some plastic packaging. I bent this into a rectangle to fit on top of the cabinet and then I glued that in place using the Mod Podge. Now I made two of these. So one of them is painted on the back in an aqua color, and the other one is plain on the back. Then I mixed up two teaspoons of resin, and I added in some sand. Mix this up. And now you should have a pretty good brownie batter consistency. You only need about a teaspoon at the bottom. And to decorate, I'm using rocks. Preserved moss. preserved like a podium and some preserved lichen. These are available in most decorative type home stores as well as craft supply stores or outside if you want to check out my other aquarium video. I'm also using some bark. You can decorate just by pushing these elements into your wet sand. Then I'm going to use these two little pieces of skinny sticks and prop those on top of my plastic case. Now I'm using an extra jumbo popsicle stick cut into a two and a quarter inch piece. 
and I'm using five skinny sticks that I've cut into two and a quarter inch pieces. Stack three of the skinny sticks vertically and one of the skinny sticks horizontally on top of them. And then take the final skinny stick and put that at the slant coming outward. You can fill in the sides with wood putty later. For the fish, I'm using some aluminum foil from a cake pan, and I smoothed that out with a bottle, and then I etched in three little quarter inch squares. This is just going to keep the fish to scale. You can draw simple fish shapes for these, an oval body, a triangular tail, and two triangular fins. And then using a ball tool, go on ahead and emboss foil so that it's round on one end. That's the main fish body. That gives it a nice 3D effect, and then you can cut out the fins and the tail. And you can see how you have a pretty detailed fish without any real effort. I base coated the lighter colored fish in a metallic white. And then I left one of them metallic white, painted the other one in a metallic light blue, and then painted the third one with that light blue butt base coat, and then a dark blue top coat. For the white fish, I painted on stripes for the fins and a solid colored orange tail and polka dots on the body. And I copied discuses for the patterns. For the light blue fish, I left the base coat of light blue and painted orange on the tails and fin. And for the dark blue fish, I again painted orange on the tails and fin, but this time trimmed it with a little bit of black on the tails and fin and black stripes. Then I went on ahead and painted the cabinet and the hood a solid black. Don't forget to add a little bit of varnish if you want some sort of sheen, or you can leave it matte. And as I said earlier, I made two of these. So the first one I trimmed out in paper. But the second one, the one I'm using in the photographs, is the one that I trimmed out in wood. Then glue the fish. Just stick them onto any of the plants or rocks or branches or anything else that you have in there. And you can leave the aquarium plain. As you can see, it's not bad looking by itself. Or you can slowly fill it with resin. And I'm adding little increments of the resin at a time and that way it releases its heat while it's curing and doesn't warp your plastic. Use a straw to blow out any air bubbles. And then glue the cap directly on the top of the two little uh, black pieces that you put in earlier. Allow it to set, and that's it. You're done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.